You're watching Well Traveled Life with Jonathan and Jennifer Graham. We are in South Australia on Kangaroo Island, just off the coast of Cape Jervis in South Australia. Just southwest of the city of Adelaide is Kangaroo Island. In the west side of the island, you have the Flinders Chase National Park, and that's where you're gonna find penguin colonies, coastal rock formations like the Remarkable Rocks and the Stalactite Covered Admiral's Arch. This is a really special place. It is known for its wildlife. Over one third of the island is protected preserve area for wildlife, flora, and fauna. This is where you want to go if you would like to see kangaroos, wallabies, koalas, dolphins, and seals in the wild. It's really special because you can take walks and see the koalas up in the trees. You can be out on the plains and you'll see kangaroos and wallabies. And you can be in the ocean and actually swim with the seals, sea lions, and the dolphins. You can see Kangaroo Island from the mainland Australia. If you're anywhere on the Fluria coast, you can look out on a clear day and see Kangaroo Island. And similarly from Kangaroo Island, you can see back to Australia mainland. It is a tender port, meaning your ship will dock off the beach and tender boats will take you into the little marina. From the harbor, you're within walking distance of Christmas Cove and the small town with shops, restaurants, cafes, and a little open air market. From the Tender Pier, if you walk about a half mile up the hill and across the main road or around the cove, either way, you'll get to Christmas Cove. Christmas Cove is where most of the dolphin and sea lion adventures take place. There's a really great tourist information office opposite Christmas Cove. They have information, you can book tours, etc. right from there. That is also where Ocean Safari is going to suit up and get you your wetsuits so that you can get into the water with the wildlife. If you're just going to stay in Penishaw town and walk around, there are plenty of options. My name's Megan Harvey. I'm actually the regional tourism manager for the island and we manage this program but I'm also a volunteer today um, to do this and we, we have a group of uh, locals that welcome all the visitors to the island with the cruise ships. Marrying art, poetry and nature, the half mile sculpture trail is a loop that's considered relatively easy although there are some steps to it. Um, you'll see wallabies on the sculpture trail. You'll see kangaroos though if you do the boat arm conservation park walk more than likely up that way. Um, but the best place to actually see kangaroos is Cape Willoughby Lighthouse which is on a tour that way about 20 minutes half an hour. They might have been under the bush then. They are more, more nocturnal than not but you will see them during the day. They'll, if it's a hot day, they'll want to be underneath the bushes and getting out of, out of the sun because they can't, they don't sweat, so they need to stay in the shade to keep themselves the temperature regulated. There's also the Penishaw Hotel, a few shops, some great cafes and bars. On most cruise ship days, they will have an outdoor market. Very long, and they turn on. Oh, yeah, generally, every First Sunday of the month is the market at Penishaw. Every second and fourth Sunday of the month is the markets at Kinsco. So we live on the north coast just out of Kinsco. Well, Maria makes all the macrame stuff and all the, you know, the place maps, all the stuff that requires the finer art of a, a female's touch. I do all the industrial work, as you see my hands are more for industrial, with all the boards, the macrame boards. Why not? But when I do her macrame boards, I won't drill holes until she tells me where to put them. So I, we work together on, on all facets. All the, all the hooks predominantly that come off the macrame boards are just recycled washers, bearing caps, whatever I can get. Just put on the wire wheel so it looks authentic. No different than the handles on the, the some of the boards. Um, just old Rio, just put them on the wire wheel, glue them in, and they're fine. So I use nuts, 
use a lot of nuts and washers, just buff them up a bit. Yeah, so we recycle a lot of stuff that's you know, just rusting away, so to speak. There's a, a pod of dolphins who live permanently in what's called Dolphin Cove, right off the coast of Penishaw. They are there because they have discovered that it is a safe place for birthing. New dolphins are protected in the cove. There aren't bigger predators that can get them. And so they've made this their permanent home and they are used to folks being out swimming with them. You can hire somebody to take you out there and they will actually make sure that you are dropped right where the dolphins are swimming. But you can also take a boat out or go to the beach and watch the dolphins from land. fur seals at Kangaroo Island. Fur seals swim great distances to go and feed and when they come back they're often resting on the rocks but if you can lure them into the water they're happy to swim with you for a little while.
Like anywhere, your experience of a place is more about your experience of the people. And the people of Kangaroo Island have an awful lot of history and a lot to share. I was born here. Um, I'm a sixth generation. Um, my children are seventh and went to school here, but left the island for a little while and um, did some schooling in Adelaide, but then eventually came back and had our own kids. And it's a fantastic place to bring our kids because they've they're free, they're almost wild like the animals a little bit. <laughs> it's a really safe place to be, yeah. My name is Tony Bell. Well, our family history on my both parents' side goes back to the 1850s. They migrated here to Kangaroo Island. So yeah, we have a fair bit of history with the island. They come here to farm via Adelaide, Tasmania and England. Obviously originated in, in England. Uh, I'm retired to the markets, as you can see. We were farmers out on the north coast um, on my family farm. Um, yeah, we still live on farming land. Uh, we were predominantly sheep, and we actually started the cottage industry on that farm. Oh, what was that? Twenty years ago now. Um, on the 2004. 2004, we started the Lavender Farm. Emu Bay Lavender was our creation. Sold that five years ago, so, yeah, and we sold the sheep farm around it a few years before that. It's a bit slow with the boat markets. It's a different um, kettle of fish, so to speak, especially the ones they can't carry a lot on board, which is fine, but that's the way it is. We're staying here in the caravan park for about four nights, so we didn't have to travel home for those couple of nights. And the best part about getting to know locals is getting to ask them what we should be doing when we're in their part of the world. Come, but come and start. You want at least four days to stay here. To it's a really big place. And when you get here, you want, you'll feel like you want to sit and just enjoy the place. You want to sit on a beach, you want to sit at a winery and have time. So you want a minimum of four days. Yeah. Spend at least five days here because there's a lot to do. The, the must do things, what a lot of tourists come here for, a seal bay, remarkable rocks, Admiral's Arch which are all with natural farms. But there's a lot more to see than just that. There's every, about, probably five regions on the island. So you could do one region a day. Um, so there's five days. You know, we, we used to tell people come here for six, seven days, if applicable, because there's a lot to do if you want a bit of downtime. And yeah. Thanks for joining us on Kangaroo Island. What a great day it was. We hope you'll enjoy our other videos in South Australia, including Adelaide and Port Lincoln, but also look at the videos we've done from around the continent of Australia.